Brahmos is a short-range supersonic cruise missile that can be launched from submarine, ships, aircraft, or land. It has the capability of attacking surface targets by flying as low as 5 meters to the maximum height of 14 kilometers in altitude. It can gain a speed of Mach 3 and has a maximum range of 290 kilometers. Its high speed and precision makes it one of the most lethal cruise missiles in the world. Its long-range version, 600 km, and hypersonic version, Mach 628, are also under development. Nirbhai is an all-weather, long-range subsonic cruise missile capable of carrying large variety of conventional and nuclear warheads. The missile has a range of more than 1,000 km. The missile has a loitering capability, means it can go round a target and perform several maneuvers and then re-engage it. The missile is capable of flying at different altitudes ranging from 500 meters to 4 kilometers above the ground at speeds of 0.7 Mach and can also fly at low altitudes to avoid detection by enemy radar. A subsonic missile travels vastly slower than a supersonic missile. Therefore it takes much longer to reach a target. And the efficient engine it has, compared to the supersonic missile would allow it to loiter over a target area. In other words, once the missile is overhead and is put on a loiter pattern, the government can make a decision as to whether a strike still needs to be carried out or not. If they choose not to, the missile can be safely self-destructed well above the target. In case of subsonic cruise missile, it does not need as much fuel as supersonic missile and therefore it can carry much ammunition to strike the intended target. This means that a subsonic missile can either travel much farther than a supersonic one or carry more ammunition. In cases where speed is not of essence, and to reach a target farther away or more heavily hardened, a subsonic missile is necessary. In a hypothetical situation where we need to strike a target in populated area, a subsonic missile can loiter over the intended target area and wait until it is appropriate to strike, in order to minimize collateral damage and civilian casualties. Also, by virtue of their slower speed, the subsonic missiles can fly closer to the ground using the terrain hugging or nap of the Earth tactic and more efficiently evade enemy radar detection because of the Earth's curvature. Radar waves after a certain distance will be unable to detect low-flying aircrafts or missiles. While the advantage of a supersonic missile is its speed, which means reduced reaction time for the enemy. The advantage for the subsonic missile is greater range and payload and greatly reduced odds of detection. Subsonic missile is also comparatively cheaper than a supersonic missile. Therefore it can be produced in a large number. From this analysis, we can tell that India needs both Brahmos and Nirbhai for different mission. Brahmos is mostly a strategic weapon and Nirbhai will be a real workhorse. Thank, thank you everyone for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and to press bell icon.